Good afternoon, Fight fans. Welcome along to the Canal Court Hotel here in Newry for the return of Irish Mixed Martial Arts in your fighting championships. This afternoon's action begins now with a bout over three rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner and representing Mayalo, please give it up for Trevor Lee! Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner and representing New Era, presenting Thomas McVeigh! Welcome to Blitz and Nine the party with RBs and drills. The kid back medals and spin off, seen up man just spoke for my niggas. Had a talk back niggas, they got dingers, they be cool like dingers. My little nigga got pride and loose for the chin off, man, you get stubborn and they get blood again. Welcome to Blitz and Nine the party with RBs and drills. The kid back when they spin it, I see enough man to swap for my niggas. Had a two back fingers, they got dingers, they be cool and dingers. My little nigga got fired, she moved for the chin off, man, you get stuck on the head. Hello, Paul. Professor Andrew, hello. We've both got upgrades, I think, since we were last here, were we? Yeah, yeah. Or did you, had you already got it? No, no, mine was not long before yours in December. There you go. Somewhere. Two, uh... Bonafide, legitimised. Two idiots slash Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts sitting here, cage side today. The viewers can be safely assured that if the fights do hit the ground, we should have half an idea what's going on. Well, before we get into actually calling the fights that are going on here, I believe you have a, a bone to pick with a, a prominent co-commentator that was on a certain promotion last night. Yeah, speaking of commentators understanding what's going on when the fight hits the ground. Yeah, go on. Name him, Paul. Name him. Let's just say on the prelims at Bellator last night, there was some... Uh, this, uh, certain co-commentators just elected to go silent at certain points. <laughs> B bouts underway here. Both guys wearing black, but we have Trevor Lee fighting out of the blue corner. You'll see the tape on the gloves. Takes a couple of strikes from Thomas McVeigh. Both are debuting fighters. McVeigh landing a lovely head kick pretty early in the fight yeah. here, and we will uh, we will draw viewers' attention early to the brand new cage here in the Canal Court tonight. Paul, did you notice? It's beautiful, isn't it? The canvas looks very nice. And some, some shots being thrown at the get-go here with the two debut fighters. Both guys just letting the hands go early. Trevor Lee looks like that one woke him up a bit. You can hear Miles Price urging for a little bit of patience from Trevor in the corner, but we can see Trevor's eyes directly in front of us. He is relishing this opportunity already. That one stung him a wee bit, though, that right hook. Yeah, he's showing a bit of redness under that left eye already. That's going to swell, and the hands of McVeigh really causing problems now for Lee. McVeigh looks big for this weight, doesn't he? Yeah, it's the height as well. It's just causing a bit of a, bit of a problem here. Yeah, noticeable difference. Trevor, McDave, or Trevor Lee fighting kind of emotionally now in the beginning of this first round. 
He's really, really feeling those uh, those punches. See the difference in the range of the two fighters for sure. But a great shot by Lee. Well timed, but good initial frame against the head. And now we're getting into this very common fight here of trying to stop the hands from connecting. Nice use of the left hand against the inside of the elbow here. And a good disengage. Oh, looked like that could have been an elbow that landed, to be honest. Yeah, he went right by with the hand, didn't he? And at the forearm, at the very least, definitely landed on the... The cheekbone of Lee, but Lee returning fire. Yeah, Trevor put that right on the chin there, but that uppercut just... He dipped right into didn't it, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't take the knee as such, but... Do you know, I know we've spoken before about the standards uh, on this show. We could be close to a stoppage here, to be honest. I think Declan, yeah, Declan is, is having a look here, and... Sometimes people can be a little bit tougher for their for their own good. And what we're looking for is like damaging, impactful accumulation of strikes. And is there intelligent defense happening on the feet? And Lee is feeling these, and he's he's finding himself with his feet very close together, and he's eating shots where he's off balance as a result, which isn't helping. So he's fighting very emotionally, getting get a little overexcited and carried away. Good first round for Thomas McVeigh. We can see the difference. One fighter remaining very calm, tidy, patient, technical. The other fighter just getting a little bit uh, carried away on the emotions of the, the, the debuting or the debut in mixed martial arts. Yeah, reacting very um, passionately, I suppose would be the the words I would think of. Yeah, the big the big thing that was standing out for me was that. He was stepping in with his feet quite close together and standing up tall and beckoning his opponent on. But when your feet are so close together, you get touched with anything, you're going to be off balance. So it looks a lot more impactful, particularly when you're looking then at the you know, judges' scorecard. It's not a good habit to get into. Whereas yeah. McVeigh just keeping his base, keeping his balance, this weight, good weight distribution and controlling the distance very, very well. It's also worth saying that since they are both uh, debuts, Thomas could just as easily fall to the idea of potentially a bit of overconfidence and feeling that like he can't miss and then potentially make a mistake. His striking has looked quite crisp here, but hasn't been untouchable by any means. And the, oh, gum shield back in. Yeah, you do not want to be in there without Need one of that. those. There we go. And now would put McVeigh under pressure. And a good sprawl by Lee, but there he follows. You can hear the voice of Coach Miles Price in the corner. You guys probably can too at home. Picking the shots well there, Lee. Conscious not to drive down into the back of the skull. But McVeigh is locked in tight. Lee could be going for a ride any minute. Yeah, it just seemed like the position that they were they were like against the door of the cage there, so it prevented him from moving forward for that leg trap triangle. Overall, very good defence there by Lee. Yeah, no, absolutely. He's a... Uh, Chin goes kind of high and he stands again, like I said, with his feet close together at certain times, so it becomes a bit of an easy target in them exchanges. But it is a much better second round. Beautiful teeth to the body. This will be interesting. If it does go much further, and we go, we're talking third round, be interesting seeing, you know, Thomas was, I don't want to say coasting in the first round, but was the much more confident fighter. And then to feel a resurgence from your opponent in the second round could maybe have implications on your gas tank. Well, absolutely, because again, both fighters are quite inexperienced, you know. Uh, Trevor Lee does have some kickboxing experience. Beautiful 
also knee to the body and Lee felt oh, that. That's it. He definitely felt that. Holding the groin, but it didn't go below the belt from my view. Do we apologise for cursing on the stream, do we? If they just heard that. Well, it wasn't us that did it, okay, so we yeah, no, have nothing to worry about. Do you know, We're it seems, well, we, we, did, we did see the first knee. The first knee landed very good to the body. These don't seem to be low shots at all. Oh, Beautiful set. kick to the body. And that is all she wrote. What a finish by Thomas McVeigh. So it does, it obviously takes a certain amount of time to become conditioned to a degree in the sport. And I feel that while he had a lot of heart and determination, uh, the knees really weakened up the body and then that that left shin to the gut. What a way to start. Very impressive, wasn't You're it? number six. You might be a minute before you get into the cage here. Yeah, no rush. Um, good hard on display from Trevor Lee. Came back really well in that second round, but Thomas McVeigh found a way to finish the fight. Beautiful work to the body. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes after two minutes and 36 seconds of round number two due to a TKO. Your winner, Thomas McVeigh! <laughs>